In the meantime, let's focus uh, on the big story, those pictures that we are getting from the Gohati Hotel. Because uh, right now, the pictures of the MLAs that now seems to be leaving, they are vacating the hotel. Uh, there, they have been camping for the last week or so. And there were already uh, chartered buses that were called in early this morning, right after Eknath Shinde uh, offering his prayers at the Kamakya Mandir. Yes, we can see Tamal there. We are just getting him uh, connected. Tamal, if you can hear me, just take us through those live pictures, please. those pictures we're just trying to quickly reconnect that line but those pictures first playing out here on the channel the rebel MLAs are leaving from the Gohati hotel chartered buses that were already called in to take them to the airport now the airport is uh, on the outskirts of the city so it takes around 45 minutes to an hour to actually reach from Gohati the airport there to the airport uh, Tamal over to you live pictures coming in Well, yes, uh, you, you know, just uh, just two minutes, two minutes back, uh, two minutes back, all the MLAs, uh, most of them, I would say, uh, they have just left the hotel of Gohati almost seven days after they came here, making Gohati at the heart of all the political activities. And of course, the crisis that Maharashtra has plunged into. Ekta Shinde himself was there inside the bus. We have been given to understand these rebel MLAs, uh, as was told to us by our sources last night itself, would be making a public appearance. And this time they are going to Kamakya Temple first, where as a show of strength uh, and also to offer the obeisance to Kamakya Temple, they would be making a stop over before they head out to Gohati uh, Airport. Now there is one more bus which is there inside and in all likeness, couple of MLAs who are still inside would be uh, stepping out, would be head, he heading out uh, of the hotel and would be going to Kamakya Temple. But this possibly would also bring a closure to the political activities happening here. Tamal, as you're getting us the details of the MLAs just leaving from the Gohati Hotel, they are headed to Mumbai via Goa. So that's the information coming in. Of course, they'll be making a stopover in Goa because the issue has now been taken to the Supreme Court. Uh, Tamal is back with us. Yes, Tamal. All right, uh, we'll just go back to Tamal for those details, but these are the visuals coming in. All the rebel MLAs now headed to Goa. Uh, of course, uh, all right, Tamal is back with us. Yes, Tamal, go ahead. Uh, you're getting us the details of what's happening there. Well, you know, very interesting, as the bus came out of this very gate, all the MLAs did not have the curtains on their faces. When they had come inside the Gohati Hotel, it was a different sight altogether. Many of them had kept the curtains on the windows, but today the windows were absolutely clear of any curtain, making it very clear that they have the confidence, confidence of the numbers, and of course the confidence in them that they will be winning this flow test as and when that happens. Most of the MLAs wore a smile on their faces. Others had waved to us, some of them also shown the victory sign. In a way, making it uh, amply clear that they are very much confident of the current uh, status uh, uh, in, in the Maharashtra politics. Uh, Ekna Shinde says that they will not be abstaining from the uh, you know, floor test as and when it happens. But the big question now remains, when will it happen? Will it happen tomorrow even though the governor has called for a floor test tomorrow at 11 a.m. But then at this point in time, we have to now wait and see whether the Supreme Court's intervention that has decided to intervene, that has admitted the uh, objection raised by Shiv Sena, will that intervention delay the process by any means? Uh, the argument on the part of the Shiv Sena had been that the actual matter of disqualification of the MLAs is still pending before court, thus at this juncture there should not be any kind of, any kind of uh, you know, intervention of the governor asking for a floor test that might jeopardize the entire uh, case or the merit of the case which is now pending before the Supreme Court. The counter uh, from the uh, Eknath Shinde camp had been that what happens on the floor test is purely within the jurisdiction of the assembly and the judiciary in all likeness should not interfere into okay, the matter all of right. uh, Tamal, we'll